Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody here to this international test match between the USA Hawks and the Canada Wolverines. My name is Dustin Zare. Thank you for joining us. Next to me is my commentator, Mr. Lance Cavanaugh. We're looking forward to a good international test match. This has been an absolutely wonderful weekend of rugby league. Pleasure to have you here at Valley High School in the vibrant city of Las Vegas, Nevada. Atmosphere absolutely buzzing. The crowd's packing in right now ahead of our anthems that we'll have here shortly. Now I'm Dustin Zare again. I'll be your play by play, and of course, Lance will be here. Probably some play by play as well. We've both been talking all day at the Rugby League Nines. Vegas known for the dazzling lights, but tonight the spotlight is on this Rugby League pitch here at Valley High School. Head to head rivalry that promises nothing to be short of thrilling. A chilly but electric evening here. The crowd is rolling with excitement. Really proud to see the growth of Rugby League here in the U.S., and this match will be fantastic. Let's talk about the players for tonight's match. Starting with the Canada Wolverines, fullback Dylan Hamilton, and wing Josh Milchick. Center, Luke Taroka. The other center, number four, Lee Kegel. Colton Carpenter on the other wing at number five. The standoff tonight is Blake Mahovic. The half is Jacob Byrne. Your first prop forward, number eight, there's David Astley. Your hooker is Ben Southers. Prop forward is Charles Curran. In the second row, you've got Jason Chuck and Jason Park. Loose forward is Skylar DeMoss. And your interchanges tonight for the Canada Wolverines are going to be Kyle Urich. Dan Martin, Nico Andranios, and Danny Tupo. Over for the USA Hawk tonight. Our fullback is David Washington. Our wing, James Willems. Center, Ryan Burrows. The other center is Jason Martin. Kyle Granby is on your opposite wing. Your stand-up tonight is Ryan Bannero. And the scrum half, Peter Lupton. Tonight's prop four is Malcolm Webb. Other prop for it is Tavita Bryce with Mason Corey in between them at hook. Your second rows are Gunnar Johnson and Wet Piggins. And then in rounding out at loose forward, Joe Eichner. Your interchanges for the USA Hawks are Matt Finnessy, Ethan Farrick, Matai Makalava, and Andre Whaley. Apologize that we're trying to get some audio out on the field. It's uh, a little tasty. And good audio here from the box. Lance, what are you looking forward most in this match tonight? Redemption of a loss that this Canadian team gave this USA team on USA Soyo in 2022. Canada team were clearly better on the day and I look forward to a new renewed USA team that we have out here today to get some vengeance back. We'll wait here for the national anthems.
Charles, we get ready. Exciting matchup. USA Hawks versus the Canada Wolverines. For those of you tuning in who don't know much about rugby league, two 40-minute halves. Each team, just like in American football, get a set number of tackles to score. In rugby league, we get six tackles. It's like American football, you get your four. Out here, Valley High School, as the Knights sets over on a chilly evening. Game time temperature right now is a about 57 degrees. We've had high winds all day long, which could play effect in today's match as well. The Hawks look to receive start off the match today. The anticipation is building for both sides. This, these are the steps necessary for both of these teams to compete, to make it to the Rugby League World Cup, for them to solidify themselves on this hemisphere. Bitter rivals to the end, and we have kickoff. Malcolm Webb immediately getting involved in this game. Done a lot of great work in the state of Florida for his action in Jacksonville. And as play progresses, we're going to see if these big boys for the United States can put a dent inside of this center defense for Canada. It's number 11, Gunnar Johnson taking up a big hit up the middle. Hooker Mason McCrory gets it out to the right side. A big boot by Peter Lupton. All the way into touch. We could not tell if he was inside the 40 or not if it was a 40-20. He was. We're so going to give it 40-20 here for the Hawks. We'll get the ball back. Once we get the ball back on the field. Good kick by Peter Upton. Finding that open space. West Piggins with a big run in the middle, tackled by a couple of the Wolverines there. Webb again, taking one, two, three Wolverines with him. It's tackle three. Good out to the outside, James Williams. Flag is up. Straight into touch. James Williams had a nice attempt there right in the corner, but it looks like he went into touch just before he was able to get the ball down. And that set of play for him is it gives them real confidence. The kicking game is on. Forcing Canada to really fight to the complete will of their defense. Canada doing a good job of pushing that attacker out of bounds. And now with opportunity to get space and relieve their line. It's Canada. Big tackle by Gunnar Johnson there. Lee Kegel with that big run on the middle. Big hits here by the Hawks. Fifth tackle. Ten meters out from the halfway line. Big 
big bomb in the air. Williams is underneath it. Good cover. Nice take by James Willems there. Jason. <clears throat> Kyle Granby with a good run. There's Ryan Burroughs, legendary box player, voted one of the 10 best of all time, and a high tackle. Starting to see a very confident USA side. Big hit on the high tackle. Checking in to make sure he doesn't have any injuries, anything sustained. And already, you see Peter going to the side. Let's get right to it. And the action begins again. Confident approach. Air Force can aid the team to step up and tackle big. Big Joe Weidner there with his second run. Ooh. Hunter Johnson, that's about his third or fourth big hit up he's had this match. Webb, breakthrough. Fifth tackle coming up for the Hawks here. Little grubber on the ground, bobbled in the end zone. Looks like it's like did fumble it in there in the end zone, so he's gonna have a line drop out here. For Canada, more pressure from the Hawks on the Wolverines. A take. Using Malcolm early in this matchup. He's going to have a big impact as the game goes along. There's Big Tavita Bryce. Plays all over 6'1, 299 pound prop forward. Lupton swings it over to Washington. Great overlap opportunity just missed there. Low play the ball. Left in again on the inside. And the fifth tack here again. Left in. Out to Burroughs. And Ryan Burroughs with a try. Great build up of play for the USA. Already putting Canada under immense pressure. Option to kick was there, but instead, drawing in multiple defenders, giving the ball to former Captain America himself, who's led the charge and had a legendary career with the USA Hawks, and able to put points up on the board for us early. Mason McCurry here be kicking the attempt after. Mason's domestic club is the Jacksonville Axemen, who lost a close battle in the U.S. Aero Final in 2023. Played a fantastic match. And it's good. Six nil. Seven minutes and fifty two seconds into the match here. And it's early in the game. If you're Canada, what do you think of the amount of pressure 
we've had these past seven minutes or so. They just had to sustain the ball. Just get the ball, get to a set. They haven't really had an opportunity to show exactly what they possess and what they can do on attack. Still early in the matchup. But once they get their hands on the ball, completing the set. And it's gone straight out on the floor. Thank you for everybody who's watching around the globe. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada for this international test match. Big run up the middle there. McCrory over to Webb again. Malcolm Webb, that's probably his fifth strong hit up of the match. We hear our audio is a bit choppy. We will see if we can fix that a little bit for everybody. Hope it won't be too bad. Thank you for those that are sending in comments. Just a little too heavy on that kick through. Now Canada. Back with the quick tap and the attack begins. High tackle on the first tackle of this new set for Canada. It looks like Canada's gonna nudge into touch. Gone way over there. Good 35 feet or kick there for the Canadian International. We've lost the ball again. Rugby League excitement. The rug, Rugby League Las Vegas Nines finished this afternoon. And we're here with another test match between USA and Canada. So nonstop Rugby League action all week here in Las Vegas. Big hit up there. Taking one, two, three off with them. Skylar Dumas, the big run through the middle. Good shot to play, Lee Keagle. Kriegel over to Blake Mahovich. Another good move for Canada over here to the left side. Offloads, they've got room. And he's out of bounds. Good defensive play by the Hawks there. Washington with a big hit up. Again, 15 strong meters there by the Hawks.
Malcolm Webb once again. McCrory lines his guys up over to Lupton. A big hit on Joe Heichner. Big high bomb by Lupton. Good catch. By oh. Bobbled it a bit, but recovered control. Defensive line of the Hawks coming very solid on each one of these hits. Some good synergy there with them. Bounces off of one gun. John tries to get him and then loses. Ooh. Fifth tackle here for the Wolverines. High ball for Washington. Caught well. Straight to the 50 already. James Willem with a good run right there. Ryan Burroughs again, punishing run. Peter Lupton, probably the most experienced rugby player out on the pitch. A young, 31 years old. Burroughs again, opens the film on the outside. Ah, and Williams drops the ball. Williams had the space out there, but unfortunately, just couldn't hold on to it. Don't know if there's an injury on the field or not, but there seems to be a lot of chains out there. Move into the center of the field. Good tackle by Malcolm Webb there. Another big tackle by Malcolm Webb. Skyler DeMott gets the ball out to the left side for the Wolverines. Joe Eichner with a big hit. And we got a player down. And the reaction from all the other players on the field shows that it might be serious. We're wishing the best for this Wolverine that is down. Soldier in arms, brother in arms. But so far in this first early bit of the game, we have seen physicality personified. Both teams not giving an inch immediately and absolutely bringing an absolute thunder on every hit up and every tackle. Well, we're 17 minutes into this match. What are some of the key things you've seen from this Hawks team? Well, as time goes on, they seem to just get more and more confident. Michael Webb, big hits in the middle of the field, able to find the space to the outside. Captain America of past, Ryan. Ryan Burroughs going in for a try and almost saying, 
picking up another one. Just couldn't get the ball to James. But again, the confidence from this USA team. Actually bringing around players of old guys that have confidence, don't have to do too much, can work well with the system, and it seems to be working out very early in this first 17 minutes of the match. I think one of the good things we've seen is a key factor in any rugby league matches. That's completed sets. I think the Hawks have almost had all their sets completed, maybe one or two short, but they've been able to complete their set, take advantage of field and territory, and kept Canada on their back heels for most of this match so far. And Canada really have had an opportunity to really threaten points on the board. They found themselves moving around the 30-meter mark, but, I mean, at 40 20 at the beginning of the game really set the tone for what we're seeing right now. Yeah, definitely. The ball has really been on one half of the field and stayed there. And that's part of the United States' confidence as the game goes on. They seem to figure out ways just to keep the pressure up, keep Canada on their back end. Well, we wait to see what happens here with... Yeah, there's probably going to be a little bit here. We'll probably have somebody get the stretcher out for him. All week this week here in Las Vegas, it's been nothing but rugby league. Yesterday, today we had rugby league nines. Congratulations to the various champions. The women's division, we saw the Battle of Canada between the Harry Osprey. Ospreys came out victorious. And then in the men's, we saw Roots Rugby take on the Sacramento Immortals and a hotly contested matches that were full of big hits and big runs. Saw the Immortals victorious to be the inaugural men's Rugby League Nine champion. And of course, Masters event took place today. We'll try to get an update on what happened with those matches. And then hopefully we can figure out, you know, what's what's going on here. Of course, big event tomorrow night. The NRL kicks off the 2024 season here. And a historic first time ever. On American soil. With two big matches. Between the Finley Sea Eagles and the South Sydney Rabbitohs at 6.30. And the Roosters and the Broncos at 8.30. And I'm so excited for that matchup, those matchups. It'll be great to see the highest level of footy imaginable. Or a high level of footy imaginable here in the States. And it also gives great hope to the future that we have here. The events that I've seen today, the the weekend, excuse me, the um, Friday and and Thursday matchups that we've seen. Some of the better teams in the United States coming together put on a great performance. A lot of them representing themselves, trying to raise their hand and show that they deserve to be out on this field that we're currently sitting at. Including Roots Rugby Family's Patriarch leader is also out here playing wing for the United States now. Able to spend time with his group that he helped foster. Even though they didn't get the cup final win, it's just great to see the, the growth of the game. And what better place to go to do such a thing than Las Vegas? But what happens here will echo for a long time here in the United States. It won't just stay here. And we're back to action as we have a play the ball at the 30-meter line. And we're off. Yeah, best wishes to the player who 
was injured. Oh, and Washington is affected by the high winds that are out there today. It's the first time he's dropped one today. He's had three good catches, but unfortunately that one he was unable to to gather up properly. It's not a mistake you see from him very often. He's been someone that Hawks can always depend on. He's been around for a long time. World, World League Nines. He's played in World Cup matches. He's been around for a while. And that kind of mistake isn't something that you see much in his resume as we get to start of this scrum going. Good run there by Canada. 15 meters out. Canada starting to get a little bit of momentum here. Two to three meters shy of the try line. They play it left. He met by a big, big hit from the Hawks. Hawks defensive line is swarming there. Gunnar Johnson, tackle five. They swing it way wide. Can he get over? And he's tackled down. That'll be a changeover. Good defense by James Willems right there. On tech five, Canada took a chance. Rather than putting boot the ball, they decided that they were going to try to go for the corner flag. Another big run by Tavika Bryce. Charles Curran with that big hit. We've got a nice mix in the crowd here today of both Canadian supporters and U.S. supporters as everybody's here for the big weekend of Rugby League. London swings it out up there. Ryan Burrows, ah, oh, just threw it a little bit far for James Willems. And that's great cover defense by the Wolverine. Find himself all out of sorts, skip pass, finding his space on the outside. Ryan turned into a foot race and just couldn't get away. And when it was time to relieve the pressure, get the ball away. Just oh, what a hit by Davida Bryant. Sit down, young man. Oh, he's going to take a second to get up. Take it easy, young man. Take it easy. Big Tavita Bryce. What a massive collision. Dead center field for all of us to see. We said early, 6-1. 199 pounds. Originally from the island of Tonga, went to Tamanaki College in New Zealand. He's a big man. He says he's got over a 400 pound bench press. <laughs> Felt that up here in the press box. Canada then looking to attack again. We got good shape right now. Skylar Dumas gets the ball. Fourteen Kyrie Gurkit. I believe that's pack four. Lee Kegel tries to get through and then dives forward.
Time out for maybe to look at Tavita Bryce. They've taken a small shot. This is tackle five, though. Last tackle five. Canada decided to go for it rather than kick. Oh, this is tackle five. Excuse me. Little grubber through. What he called there. Is it a double knock? Yeah. And that grubber created immense pressure really right on the goal line. No clean take. Both teams knocked on it. Canada now with a fresh set inside of the 10. This is dangerous moment for the United States. Jacob Bourne with a good dummy. Nice tackle. By Peter Lupton. Ball's loose. It's gone back about 8 to 10 meters. And the Hawks showing good resilience here. Back to back defensive sets. They switch play. Oh, what a crunching tackle. It was knocked on in the pass by Canada, but recovered by the Hawks. Kyle Gravy, a little shifty. And breakthrough. There's that big to man, Tavita Bryce, once again. I think we're seeing a lot of good, strong hit-ups by the forward pack. As Matt Finnessy comes onto the field for his first minutes of the game. But the Hawks are showing a lot of good forward play. And let the ball bounce another 40-20 for the Hawks. Seemed as though Canada had it right there, and he just let it roll right past him. The ball took an awkward bounce right at his feet. And out of risk of trying not to knock it, he didn't attempt it clean. And unfortunately, Canada found themselves on the heel, their own try line again. Big run by Wes Pickens. Malcolm Webb gets two meters from the try line. Swing the ball out. Jason Martin. That's over for the try. I feel like that's the first time we've called Jason Martin's name tonight. He made a quick impact. First touch of the ball. Shrinking off defenders, stepping back inside on the right, diving in, and again, the kick again. 40-20. This time, bad bounce of the ball for that Canadian fullback. And it ends with Jason Martin in the 26th minute adding to this USA lead. Hill with the kick to come. A great crowd out here tonight. Conversion tip is completely off to the side. Hanging around the outside hatch marks.
Mason already one for one today. An opportunity to take it. A 12 to nil lead for the USA. Who four pack seems to be leading the dance here in this international matchup. And it is a miss. The Wolverines four pack have to stand up and straighten up right now. It is creating too much confidence for this USA side. They're attacking full on because they've seen the way that it's creating space for them on the outside. And even though they haven't really capitalized it, capitalized on that space in the midfield, when they find themselves deep in Canada's end, they've been almost perfect and able to extend the lead. It is 10 nil with a kickoff now. High kicks in the wind. Always going to be testy today. Big run to the center of the field. The Hawks. Ryan Burrows. Little juke step. Johnson getting pushed back by Canada. Big hit by Jason Park. And Jason Chuck. The two Jasons there. If your second rowers for Canada, absolutely crushing their opposite number. Ryan Barrow with a good kick. And Canada almost knocks it on as they run into each other. A bit of miscommunication there. Dylan Hampton with that runner for Canada. Ben Stothers, the hooker for Canada, directing traffic. And the 10 in. To the U.S. half. Big hit again. With Pat Finnessy. Just getting into the game a few minutes ago. Good crunching hit there. By Joe Eichner. Season veteran for the Hawks. And a knock on cost off on that far edge. Scrum down for the U.S. And again, that stingy defense. Not overall pressured. Deep in their own end, but definitely enough to show up and get the ball back. Now with this scrum, perfect platform for attack. Ooh, big collision in the middle of the field from our try score. Gunner Johnson again. Big hit ups. Ryan Burroughs. I feel like Ryan Burroughs has put on some muscle in the past year or two. I remember back as a fullback and a winger. Oh man, he is bulked up. Little grubber through from Lupton. Will go out. Definitely with the infusion of the DC Calvary and having to take the charge, find himself stepping into newer positions, and he has balked up a little bit, playing in a tough league in the Northeast.
we asked some of these players for the match interesting facts and Ryan Burroughs as a breakaway happens he's got one to beat a safety tackle chased down by James Williams what a run from Luke Taroka As play is all over the place, and he breaks away, and Kenneth's got one to beat. Good double tackle there from the Hawks, driving him out of bounds. It's active. Big run from Taruka. He must have broken away for about 60 meters. And there on the left wing for Canada. Had a chance. But good game tackle from two Hawks players. It was Kyle Grandy and David Washington on that tackle. Canada with a great opportunity to lose the goose egg. Massive line break. But unfortunately, it is for not no points. On a very deserving moment. One of the more deserving moments for this Canada side. Again, United States patience with these hips in the middle. Money in the bank. Gunner Johnson taking three Wolverines on. Big run by Matt Fennessy. A tackle five. Big high. Oh, and a big hit. And the and the kick choice by Peter today has been superb. Whatever foot you do, this seems to work out great for the Hawks. And for that knock on inside of the 15, this is a great platform to add points as we dwindle to the end of this first half. Peter Lupton has been really great with his kicks today, showing his many, many years of experience as both a U.S. international and a Welsh international. Johnson almost lost the ball as he was coming up. Managed to recover 15 meters out for the Hawks. Mason McCrory. It's superplexed onto the ground there. Matt Fennessy with another big run. He gets the hard meter glance. Swarming Wolverine's defensive line. Ryan Burroughs looking for his second. Mason McCrory directing traffic. Skip pass. Skipped again. Martin over on the side. Good defensive play by the Wolverines. An offload of Malcolm Webb in the middle. Good gang tackle by the... Whoop. He was coming in hot. Lee Kegel there. Fatai Makava, it's his first hit up of the match. Rubber deflected and picked up by Canada, bounces off one. And that's going to be a penalty. A tackle, it looked like. Just a just under five minutes left to play.
Opportunity here for Canada to get in attacking territory, but they do not get the ball out. And Washington is taken off. Runs oh. over one. Takes down two. Ten meters in to the Canada half. Kyle Graham with a big run. Here's Wes Piggins. He's been running hard all day long for the Hawks. Tackle four. Rory looks to take it on his own. Finn Lent coming up here for the USA. Looking to go out wide. James Williams. And the changeover happens. Canada has started to up their physicality defensively. And it's really starting to show. They're putting big tackles into the middle of the field and no longer allowing this United States team to lead charge when it comes to the intensity on contact. Good run there by Canada, but though he went right behind his other player. Just a little bit forward with that pass. Waning minutes of the first half, USA lead Canada 10 to nil. Here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Fun fact, Lance, the first time the USA has played in Las Vegas. It's actually quite interesting. Big run by five. And another forward pass. Attacking opportunity there for the Hawks. We got time off. Good run by Kyle Yurku. Kyle plays his domestic league with the Brantford Broncos. They're in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. Excuse me, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He was born in Ottawa. Good dummy. By the fight, Jacob Bourne. Good two person tackle by the Hawks. Charles Curran with a run. And a penalty on the Hawks. Maybe a high tackle. Current tap and go. And Canada knocked it on again. It's been a constant song on repeat for Canada as they get into the attacking third. Time and time again, shooting themselves in the foot. This time, another knock on. Again, at the doorstep, great chance to, act, to get points, put points on the board, not be shut out in the first half, and just a miscue. 
and that is halftime USA getting out of the half without giving up any points even though this Canada team is feisty and unable to figure out in the last three percent of each of these great first half for the United States physical half for the United States with the Canada team showing a little late to the physicality fight but all in all this is going to turn out and end to be one of the better matchups we've seen here in the United States and especially against our heated rivals the Canada Wolverines good first half here in Valley High School Las Vegas Nevada two times a nil 10 nil and the score line Hawks over the Wolverines we'll take a short break and we'll be back with some second half action in just a little bit. Stay tuned.
Bluetooth disconnected. We are back getting ready to kick off the second half of this international matchup between the U.S. and Hawks and Canada Wolverines. The USA Hawks winning on a physicality display early in the first half with Canada matching up in spurts. Canada had multiple opportunities to score, unable to get the ball into the try zone with the United States able to convert two of their tries. Two of the phase they just build up their sets and try. And now the second half kicks off. The ball about these Canadians. Change the game plan, I'm sure. Make the adjustments necessary. And let's see how they start this second half. Already doing a little bit more to play into the space. That one pass it up seems to be. Create extra options off of those pass it up and off of the break. Just that smooth. Good run by Jason Chuck right there, too.
Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Trying to get back online here, attacking inside the U.S. half, 15 meters from the top, and a big hit from Malcolm Webb. Dan Chuck with a dummy. Back onto the inside, three meters out from the USA try line. Swing the ball wide to the right. Missed one tackle five coming up here for Wolverines. Behind the back pass. Did he get over? Try awarded. Canada on board. And that pass to Absolutely astounding. Canada pulling out the bag of tricks early in the second half to get points on the board. Converting on their first opportunity to score a try here in the second half. Fortunately, we didn't get who scored that. No replay. I think it was Luke Roca. So we'll give it to Luke. His try. From our vantage point, we're unable to see. He was able to dot it down. Jacob Bourne with the attempt after. Unfortunately, his ball keeps getting knocked over by the wind. And it is no good. And here we are. And four. Canada making a big statement here in the beginning of the second half. Lupton kicks the ball deep. And it'll bring it out from their own try line. Almost out 20 meters. Good tackle. Offload. Was it forward? Yes, it was. The test is there. A little bit of personality to this game. <laughs> a little bit of spice. A little bit of spice. And I, by the way, they kind of started this second half. They were already playing with a little bit of more expansion. Putting on pace on these hips. But now. So we're going to go back to the original. No penalty there. On five time Makahava. Started the ref is 
Did it not to be a penalty for a dangerous tackle? And the play had already stopped. Five minutes gone here in the second half. Big run by Or he gives it to Matt Fennessy. Patai again taking on one, two, three. Four Canadian defenders. Malcolm Webb getting pushed back. Getting a little testy out there. Tackle five here for the U.S. Dump Lupton. Over the try line. Held up. Good defense is dumped there by the Wolverines. Canada team came to this second half new, reborn. The energy is there and with a little bit of of testing this after a little bit of pushing and shoving, we might see a game with a lot of energy and strong. The physicality of this match definitely picked up. This is the right way match we asked for. This is what we've been looking for. We've run by Lee Keagle there again. Blake Mahovich with the inside pass. Dylan Hamilton coming in from his forward position. Jason Chuck again. And second rower. Tackle five for Canada. Big boot. Spiral. And out of bounds. He was inside. Waiting for confirmation here. No, it was not 40-20. USA ball. 10 meters out from their try line. James Williams with a nice run. Good run by Jason Martin. Al Granby going nowhere. Canada's defense is definitely stepped up this half. And the physicality that we just talked about. Oh, Eichner plowing through tackle five. Peter Lupton with a long boot. Again. Another 420 for Peter Lupton. I believe that's his third of the match. That's indeed his third 420 of this matchup. And it has turned 40 for the United States in a previous two occasions. And we get three for three. 420 speaking of Peter Lupton shows experience and knowledge of the game. His ability to find. The right spaces with a good boot is key. As the Hawks are 15 meters out from the Canada try line. Matt Finney with a big run. And the USA loses the ball tackle. Canada recovers. A wasted opportunity for the Hawks.
Ben Stothers is stuffed. Looked, looked like it was a strip, but apparently there were two defenders in the tackle. Malcolm Webb using that brute strength. Malcolm Webb, born in Germany, but he, here in the United States, graduate of Augusta State. Very experienced rugby league player, along with number 13 right there. Good dummy. And all sides by the Hawks. There's kind of a golden opportunity here. I mean, tell her two halves. Canada with energy in his second half, able to get a try back after many missed opportunities in the first. Now they see themselves again on the doorstep of greatness with the chance to tie this matchup 10 to 10 if they can get in and get the conversion. Canada diving close, two meters away. After we start. for the Wolverines. Looks like they're prompt forward Charles Curran And eight to the Hawks with the conversion to come. And the conversion is good. Ten ten here on the fifty fifth minute of this match. Down to about 59 degrees. Oh, and it's lost in the play of the ball. Hawks will take possession. What do the Hawks have to do to recover, get back to the way that they were playing in the first half? Because it seems like they've lost a little bit of that intensity that they had in the first 35, 40 minutes of this match. It's to keep up that level of physicality and pace throughout the entirety of the game. The best in the world can do it. International teams would expect them to do it. But against other nationals, against the best that you can find in country to country to country, the Cali up. They forced with winning the day in the first half. The USA Hawks had the best forward pack on the field since the beginning. Little slip 
in that physicality competition. We stay this entire day. The force got to get back to what they're known for. Kicking game needs to be on as well as it's been in the first half, but it has to be matched. It has to be matched through the continuation of the second half with the physicality that gave that 10 point lead in the first. Unfortunately, that's another one of the Canadian players going off injured. He is out on his own two feet, but looks a little shaken up as we get ready to get back underway. Good run by James Williams. Big run. Ryan Burrows leading from the front here. The big center. Wes Pickens again with a big run. He's had an outstanding game. He may not have the turn, but he's definitely had the run and the big hits. Joe Heitner, beat him from the line, taking down four Hawks with him. There's three, four overruns with him. There outside Kyle Granby. And it's Kyle Granby with a try for the Hawks. That was exactly what the doctor ordered. Move the ball from sideline to middle of the field. Playing the ball quickly. Eliminate Canada's ability to press defensively. That's what they have in the first part of this second half. And just in time, finding the space wide to get a ball to Kyle Grandy, who shoots in for the, for the third, third try today for the USA. Kyle coming off a very impressive Jamaica matchup at the end of last year where he had a hat trick adding to his fourth career try for the USA Hawks. Now it's time for Mitch to step up and get it back to a six-point lead. Thank you everyone for joining us from wherever you're listening around the world. I know we have people from Australia, lots of the U.S. Wherever you're watching the match from, we thank you. It's been an exciting week here for Rugby League in Las Vegas. This is the last big event for tomorrow's NRL matchup. We got a big matchup here. A laser beam out of bounds. Untouched by the Hawks. They just kind of let it go. About 22 minutes left to play in the last quarter of this game. Canada on tackle two, moves to the left side. 
big run for the Canadians. They have two injured players down. Oh, full the ball. Swings it way wide and throws it straight out of bounds. And after that kickoff, Canada definitely had the perfect setup to respond quickly. The ball went through the hands of Jacob Bourne. Fumbled it a bit, and then he kind of forced a little bit out there. It's Milikic. Mitchell, excuse me. USA 15 out middle of the field. Matt Fennessy a big run again. Martin Burroughs has given the ball, and he gets met head on. He was not happy about that. Don't know what's happening there. Captain Peter Lovin. Jake Hovick having some conversation. Like we said, Lance, it's a testy, testy rivalry. There is no love loss between these two teams. And for what it's worth, neighboring countries need to have these level of rivalries in order to intensify their skill set to be able to compete against the rest of the world. This is a beautiful sight for rugby league, especially here in North America. Not quite sure with that penalty on the U.S. Maybe a bit of mouthiness. Burrow's getting a little bit upset. A little talking back. But can I have the ball 20 meters out? Big run from Lou Taroka. Almost breaks away. Can knocking on the doorstep. And that'll be a penalty. Against the Hawks again. Just meters away. Tap and go Charles Curran again. Asking questions. That Hawks defense. Blake Mahoney again. He's held. Restart. And he's held up in goal. He's, or he's a centimeter away. The Hawk defense needs to stay organized right here as Canada are knocked on the door. Nice hit. Gunner Johnson quick off the line. Tackle five. Coming up here to the Hawks. Good. This is high. He can't get back out. Jason Martin tried, but good Canadian pressure. Give us a goal line dropout for the Hawks. I tell you, Lance, with the way Peter Lupt is kicking, I'll take the dropout right now. He has the good boot at the present moment. And it kudos to the USA Hawks defense on that set. Inches on the, away from the goal line. Seemed like they're almost so close to giving up a try, but found a way to keep this. Boots it. All the way to Reno. 50 meters on that. Holy moly. Talk about leaving a little bit of pressure there. Good kick. Peter Lupton. Canada looked to attack again. Taroka. 
who's had a good match today. Bounces and taken down by two. Stay up there, Hovick. Canada on the right edge. Dummies wants to go back inside. And met with a big hit again. Peter Lupton showing these young lads how it's done. I think Mahove throws it over the left side. The ball goes out of bounds again. Canada. But a penalty is called. The crowd has lots of questions on what that ruling is. Still no confirmation, but apparently it is going to be. Canada once again has looked to Roka using brute force to get about two meters away, right in the middle of the field. Ball bounces off the ground, picked up by Canada. Blake Mahovic beats one, beats two, goes to the corner. And tries it down, and it's good. Blake Mahovic with a stellar run for the Wolverines. And he just sliced across the face of the Baltimore USA Hawks to find the corner. A couple of Hawks get tangled in the middle of the field as they stepped up to make the tackle. And one deep. With just under 15 minutes left to go. You just can't give a team that many fights at the apple. They were inside. Had so many resets. And unfortunately. Jim Boren. The attempt at And he curls it in. Turns to the crowd. And the Canadian contingency here stands on their feet. And it's in 16-14 Canada. They take the lead for the first time tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness, it's him. It's Jake. Jason Bourne. <laughs> Jason Bourne. <laughs> you can see the effect this wind is having. The ball can't even stay on the feet for conversions or for our kickoff. Somehow, Jake finds a way to score. And a big, big error on Canada right there as they tried to gather the ball off the kickoff. Knocked it on, or did he get it with his foot? No, they knocked it on. <laughs> Peter has been up those kickoff kicks. Every time it's been something different, and it works out for us.
Lost backwards. Back to Kyle Granby. Spins off, knocks two over. At the one meter line. The tackle restart. Malcolm Webb powers to bounces off of one. The Hawks have the numbers at the left if they can use it. Dump from Lupton. Meters away. Offloads. Try scored. Hmm. They're going to rule the tackle is complete. Bit of a conversation here. The touch judge. Was he was offloading it while he was on the ground? Big air by the Hawks, just meters away. Throws a big dummy that didn't fool any of the Hawks players on that one. Oh. Malcolm Webb with a big hit with Mason McCrory. Charles Kern. Four pass. A double knock on there. Forward pass and knock on after you want to call it. Ten minutes to play. West begins again. Making some big runs here. Washington back position. Big Malcolm Webb. Oh, and a big hit on that fantasy. A chip over. Oh, a win. That 30 mile an hour win that we've had all day here in Las Vegas just put it straight out on the floor. Canada will get the ball out from their own try line. John Curran again. A good offload from Mike Blakemanovic. Jason Chuck. Ten meters from the 50. And that was a 16 14. Here's tackle five, the fifth and the last. Big kick. Let it back. And offsides by Canada. A big air for them. David watching it again. Takes it straight up. 
Seven minutes to play. Malcolm absolutely punishes in that tackle. The Hawks seems we've had a lot of strong straight running. We haven't really made any line breaks in the past 10 to 12 minutes or so. The defense is holding really strong. Yeah, they proved resilience over the course of the game. The match is out of league. Now they're the one bringing it up. It bounces. Can he get out? Nice play by Colton Carpenter. One of the first times we've called him today. Able to escape his own try zone on that high, hot kick by Peter Lepton. Blake Mahovic again. He's been a thorn in the Hawks' side in the second half. Now it's the fifth and last. You got to know your tackle count. The Hawks with a golden opportunity right here. Halfway in, 25 out. Nice run by Gunnar Johnson. For the first time all there is Andre Whaley. Hoping to spark a little bit of luck for the Hawks here. He's a big runner. Joe Eichner. Malcolm Webb, holding off one, holding off two, three tacklers. And a strip is called. David Washington ready to go, lining up the troops. Andre Webb, diving over, two meters away. And the Hawks had lost the ball. Big defensive move there for Canada. And strips in. Oh, excuse me. And with Mason out, a little bit of confusion on a play ball. Going out for the squire by the hall. And now we're under two, under three minutes left in this game. Unfortunately, in this, get, in this second half, Hawks have been able to really capitalize and get their sets completed. Taroka. Big run there. Wayne Bowman. National Test Match here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Canada 30 years away from the try line. Big run. West Pickens. Here's the fifth and the last. Gonna go for it, Blake. And it's back out of bounds. Mahovic took on two or three tackles, and the Hawks two minutes. 
and some change. Big run by Malcolm Webb. They've got to get moving. Pushes off one, takes down two or three with him. David Washington with a big run up the middle. Kyle Granby at Hooker. Lipton loses the ball. Can't intercept it. Oh, and it's getting called back. The Canadian contingency here. Valley High School was going crazy and they're showing the ref how appreciative they are of that call. I, when I say I a collective USA Hawks fan heart drop immediately when that Canadian player cleared with the ball. Sigh of relief. But time to Here in the sky, we hope that he's doing okay. Team 14 is your score. I want to thank everybody again for tuning in with us this entire week here on Rugby League in America. We've had Great nines matches. We've had great match here tonight. And of course, all of us are excited for the big NRL match tomorrow night. And I asked everybody that we've broadcast with the nines who they're taking in their matches. And I've asked you who you are taking in these matches this weekend. The First match, mainly is the Rabbits. Who you taking, man? Well, I'm going to have to go with the Rabbitohs to take the W in our lead up first match in our NRL of 2024. In the Rabbits, okay. Yeah, I'm taking the Rabbitohs. There's, um, there's a player on the Team that I've been a fan of for the very instantaneous moment that I've seen him play. It reminds me of uh, a player of old that I've been a fan of when I first began to wear rugby league. So. And who's that? G.I. is the guy that, that, from the time back in the days, I used to be a big fan of watching all his highlights. But I believe the young man's name is. I think Rabbit was might do well, especially with Jack Whiten. But I think he was actually suspended, and it looks like Keith Eagle, the center number four here, is coming off the field. And on his feet. Definitely get his ball run. We're back into play. Just a minute to play the match here. Hawks. 55 minutes to go. That's a big run. David Washington. 38 minutes to go. Joe Leichner. The Hawks need to find some bit of creativity right here. The hiccups just aren't getting it. With this. Oh. 
Kyle Gray running the show. Goes to the right side. Passes it over. Knocked down. Was it knocked down in the tackle? And this conversation between the refs, the decision for the entire match right here. Scrum down to the U.S. Oh, a penalty. We're seeing what's going on right here. Paul Horn is on, they're going for post. The usual, the usual kicker, Mason, is not in the match. Hasn't been on the field for at least the last nine minutes. And it looks like Al Granby, the try for level international draw there is no golden point or extra time in this match so we're told Hawks are on the feet the Canadians are Kyle Granby And 16 all it ends. I think there's a conversation going on in the field. Final score, 16 all. What a thrilling match here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh my goodness. The chat. Going absolutely crazy. For those that have said glad you didn't bet, what a game. If you want to see a lot more, but unfortunately, it is only an 80 minute match. 16 all, three tries to three, two conversions, and of course, you had a big kick by Kyle Granby at the end. What a match. Oh my goodness. Two halves. The Taylor two half strikes again. First half, USA. Physical. Confrontational. A kicking game. A plus for the United States. In the second half, the Canadian team found their win, found their heart, found the source of their energy, and brought the game right to the heart. But in close time, less than a minute left, penalty force. Kyle Granby nudges the ball through the rocks. Give us a 16-16 tie. What a match. Listen, it's uh, never easy. Let's just steps aside. He's going to take a breather. Everybody on the edge of their seat here. This has been a fantastic match. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. We really appreciate everybody tuning in from wherever you're watching around the world. My name is Dustin Zare, host of Rugby League America, joined by always Mr. Lance Cavanaugh. We really appreciate you guys sticking around with us on this exciting, exciting international test match. We wish you all a great day. The final score here from Las Vegas, USA Hawks. The Canadian Wolverines, 16. We'll see you all next time.
time. Enjoy your